Let's take a look at how we can import survey data. You can always import points by clicking on the insert tab and you can insert points directly into the drawing using the option to insert points from a file. This creates points from an external ASCII file and it imports them directly into the drawing as opposed to using the database. There's also an option to import points from an external file into the drawing using the Import Survey Data button on the Insert tab. We'll be focusing on this method of importing data in order to bring these points into a survey database. When I choose this option, it's going to walk me through a wizard to import the data into the survey database. Typically, anytime you see the word survey in front of the functions in Civil 3D, chances are you're working with data in the database. Remember, when we're editing a survey point, we're adjusting values in the survey database, not just the drawing we're in. Let's cancel out of this and create our new local survey database in a different way. Go ahead and click on the Survey tab in your Toolspace palette and right click on Survey Databases. Click Set Working Folder. Now this will be the directory that will contain our database. Most databases will have the working folder set to a project directory on a company network. If you put a survey database on your local hard drive, it won't be accessible to others who might be working on the project. So for demonstration purposes, we'll be setting our working folder to a directory on my local hard drive. Click Select Folder. Next, let's right click again on the survey database and select Create New Local Survey Database. We're going to name this database Civil 3D Example. Click OK. Now there's some survey database settings and some defaults that again are coming into play from the survey user settings here. Let's open up the survey database settings and see what we can edit. Go ahead and right click on our database and choose Edit Survey Database Settings. First off, notice that the Survey Database has its own coordinate zone and system. Remember, we're not working with a drawing, we're working with the database. The database will store everything on its own coordinate system and other values. When we import data, it'll handle the translation for you. So we're going to go ahead and set this coordinate system. Go ahead and click this button. And then our project is in Georgia. So right under Categories, click this drop-down menu and go to USA Georgia. Now the coordinate system is NAD 83 West Zone to the US foot. So we'll go ahead and select that here. NAD 83, Georgia State Plain, West Zone, U.S. Foot. Then I click OK. When I do that, you'll see that the distance is automatically set to U.S. Foot. And it's grayed out because it's part of this coordinate system. If you want, you can always leave the coordinate system blank, but make sure that the distance is set to U.S. Foot. And again, the translation would be fine. Now there's a few other values and settings that you can set here. And you can choose to create somewhat of a settings template to import or export those settings for future use. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now our survey database is created and ready to have data added to it. So let's go ahead and add some simple data. Let's go ahead and right click on our 
database will open for edit and then what we want to do is go ahead and click on import events right click and click import survey data now it gives us a little wizard right here and since we've already set up our database settings we won't have to go through this particular uh, side of the wizard so let's go ahead and click next so now if we look here under the data source type we have several different options you can even import points that are already within the drawing into the survey database but we don't necessarily need to do that right now let's uh, let's go ahead and pick point file and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick an external ASCII file and import that into our wizard and we do that by clicking on the plus and I've got this survey data just sitting on my desktop right now so go ahead and click open it's a text file now what Civil 3D will attempt to do is to determine what the point file format is and right now it has selected easting northing and elevation that's what the ENZ stands for but that's not exactly the format that this file is in the file that we're working with is a point number northing easting elevation and description so click this option all the way down at the bottom and you can see a preview of what that looks like so go ahead and click next next the wizard will ask for the survey networks we've already created that within our settings so we'll go ahead and click next lastly we have our import settings if we scroll down here everything appears to be correct one of the things that I want to do is I want to process the line work during the import go ahead and check that box and it's on the current line work code set of sample which is correct and Civil 3D will also give our import event the text file name so in other words this import event will appear underneath our survey database under import events next I want to look down here we've got insert figure objects which is checked on I want to also import survey points that's very important and then click finish now you can see the power of that import event if we look within our tool space and we expand this a little bit more you'll see that Civil 3D created an import event for that specific text file we can look under survey points and we have all of our points now listed within our database and another way to check to see if our points are within our database or within our drawing you can go into prospector and if you click on points you'll see that all of these points are actually locked so when when the points are locked within a drawing that means that it's connected to a survey database